Cinema 4D and Photoshop work really well together because Cinema 4D has a direct export option to Photoshop complete with all layered information. The really cool thing is you can pick what you want to be on separate layers. Let's take a look at it in action. So here in this scene I've got a little pen set up in my Cinema 4D scene and in the render settings the multi-pass page is where all the magic happens and here I can choose what layers I want to have on separate layers when I export to Photoshop. So I'm just going to put all image layers going to choose save to Photoshop, choose a save path on the desktop. So I'm just going to call this multi-pass pen, you can call it what you want of course, and that's then going to save out a PSD file when I render this out. Then I choose render to picture viewer, which is how we render inside Cinema 4D, and you can see the rendering happening there of the scene. And all the image layers you can see here are on separate little layers. This takes no longer to render really than an ordinary render because Cinema 4D has to calculate this stuff anyway. Here we can see all the individual layers so we can look at each one as it's rendering. Or we can just flick back to multi-layer display and see the whole lot. Okay so now we're in Photoshop and here you can see exactly the same thing and everything all correctly named. And here I can turn on and off the individual layers like reflection and shadow. But let's do some things. So I've got the reflection layer here and I'm just adjusting the curves here. And the cool thing about here, this is you can do big changes to the scene on specific layers. So here I'm just affecting the reflections without fear of damaging anything else. And this is much faster than keep re-rendering and adjusting your reflections. It's far quicker to do it inside Photoshop. So here I can start messing around with erasing certain parts of the reflection layer without fear of damaging the entire scene. Which is a very cool effect. So let's do some more things. I'm just going to have a look at the shadow layer. And shadows is a typical one that can take quite a while to get right in a 3D scene. And once you've got the shadow layer inside Photoshop, again we can adjust the curves and get that looking rather nice. And have a look at a couple of other ones, reflection layer, uh, refraction layer rather, and that's doing kind of all our refractions in the scene, so the transparent parts of the pen. Again, just adjust the curves just so I can get that looking a little bit nicer. Uh, and it's all real time with uh, Photoshop so you don't have to keep re-rendering to see what you're seeing so all in real time which is rather nice just click that one OK and of course one of the biggest things you can do in Photoshop which is quite cool is hue saturation on just the refraction layer for example and I'll be doing all the, the transparent parts of the pen and adjusting the colour so from the original colour I can now get a multitude of different colours just simply adjusting the HSV and there we go, so we've got like a blue type pen, pen now, do the same on the reflection, I can change the colours of just the reflections, again same sort of thing, uh, just tweak those a little bit. And you can do this of course infinite times, just keep saving the pen, so you can have a red one, a blue one, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing here on the diffuse, which I'll uh, do all the diffuse parts of the scene. And OK, and there you go, so there's the original, here's the finished. So you can see quite a difference there in only a few seconds. So Cinema 40 and Photoshop work really well together and hopefully this has explained how the two work.